Ladies and gentlemen, boys, and girls, let's see if we can get the kitties to meow. 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 Louder, Despy. Meow. That is such a pathetic meow. Welcome to the Dectacular. Oh my god, We're, we've been eating some bread and some brie. Uh, the cats want to eat the last little bit of it. So I'll unfortunately have to take a moment to eat the last little bit of this. Look how popular I'm about to be. Today, 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 check it. We're going to be doing a fatigue mage, kitties No, We're going to be doing a fatigue mage where we win by going to fatigue. And I have one extra special card in here, Major Domo Executus. So let me talk a little bit about this deck here. Look at this. Look at it. And ta just take the deck in for a moment because I have to take care of this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That that bite of uh, prosciutto goes out to you, Crazy Chris. Five, seven, six for three years in a row. Let me explain the deck to you. So, what you're going to see in this deck is me trying to clear the board to sweep again and again and again and again and again until we get to fatigue. So we have some of the typical fatigue elements, Cold Light Oracle. We want card draw. But we don't want to draw more cards than our opponent. We want to kill them with fatigue. Death Lord, pull a card out of there. The reason I like the Mage as a fatigue deck in general is that it has <clears throat> so many sweepers. We have Blizzard and Flame Strike. We have the infamous Doomsayer Frost Nova combo. But there's another element to this that I really like a lot, which is just Frost Nova, Cone of Cold, and Blizzard to buy time. You can buy so much time with these cards in order to set yourself up um, just for the next turn. A lot of the decks that are out there right now don't draw terribly many cards. So <clears throat> if you can get a big sweep here and there and then do a couple of spot removals or block with the Death Lords, block with the Sludge Belchers, you can do a shitload. It's really cool. Um, so there's a couple of... Um, key things to note about this deck. First of all, no mad scientists. Because for one, we don't want to be drawing cards out of our deck. We just don't. We really want to try to win in fatigue. Also, um, they're just not very high value. Something like Explosive Sheep can get two for ones really nicely. It's kind of hard for uh, a mad scientist to do that um, by itself. It kind of relies on the secret popping out on the battlefield, which again, we don't really want. Um, Frostbolts for removal. We don't have any fireballs in this. Frostbolts is just all around solid. And again, it can freeze. So you can also do things against control decks like single Frostbolt Doomsayer in place of uh, a Kona Cold or a Frost Nova. We have Alex Straza here to um, restore our health. We have the Antique Heal Boss to restore our health. In terms of card draw, we have two duplicates and an Echo of Medivh. <clears throat> And this is where the freeze effects can come in really nicely, where you can do something like anti heal bot and Frost Nova in a really tense game, and then the next turn you can play Sludge Belcher and Echo of Medivh. You can set yourself up to be able to play the Duplicate or play the Echo with all the freeze things. Now, this is, this is an interesting card in here. Major Domo, I've played a lot of Major Domo. <laughs> like, um... Playing a Major Domo early is tends to be just really, really, really ineffective. Just in all the other Major Domo decks I ever played. It's, it, I mean, he's a single card in the deck. <clears throat> Major Domo is really great at once people are kind of out of steam. The fact that it's just pinging for eight a turn and maybe clearing out a threat a turn. Um, in, in the current environment, a lot of the aggro decks, again, don't really have very good card draw. And there's a couple of very, very, very controlly decks, specifically Warrior. So, you know, when we're 27 cards in, I can play a Major Domo. It's very hard for him to remove it at that point. And if he can, I can again just start pinging and blow through all the Warrior's armor. So that's the big reason I'm running Major Domo is against uh, Control Warrior and a couple other super controlio decks. And it's been really fun. 
like Freeze Mage is really popular right now, but a lot of people talk about how Freeze Mage is just not very good against a lot of things uh, like Control Warrior. What are some other things? I'm only running one ice block. So we're going to go ahead and try to kick some serious ass here. Versus Rexa. We're against Frank. Let the hunt begin. I don't like Frank. You asked for it. I don't give a damn about Frank. Probably don't want the Cold Light Oracle. Probably don't want the Duplicate. I find that Duplicate is like a turn 8 spell. <clears throat> By the way, I'm driving down to BlizzCon tomorrow, so I will not be doing a show Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I will be doing a show Wednesday, or Monday and Tuesday, though. I'm going to be doing just uh, regular mostly walking on Monday, and then I'm going to be playing Fallout 4 for like all day on Tuesday. I'm not even going to work, man. Excuse me, that is work. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's Frank, the face hunter. There's also a really interesting thing that's happened uh, with this deck that I like quite a bit. Because so few of the aggro decks have really good card draw, they expect to either win or lose after a certain point. But, um... I'm actually just going to freeze bolt it, I think. Oh, yeah, I think I'm just going to frost bolt it and save this coin for, you know, turn four anti. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? All right, here we go. That's um, all it takes to interrupt the train of thought, man. So it's gone. It's not there anymore. Um, oh yeah, against a, a lot of uh, aggro decks, they sort of expect at like seven, you know, turn seventeen that they've lost or they've won. But at that point in time. They just don't have any cards, and I can't do anything because I'm a Fatigue Mage. So you can actually just, like, win with an Antique Heal bot, just blasting him in the face again and again. Alright. This is good. This indicates to me this is aggressive. Do I actually want to do this? I think the answer is that I do not want to do this. I do have the Frost Nova, though. Hmm. Now, let's see. He is aggressive, so I think I'm just going to do this. And now I think I just passed the turn. Boom! So, yeah, I, I'm basically trying to play sweepers for like the first several turns, and then once I get to like turn 8, 9, 10, that's where I've been feeling enough time to play like duplicates and stuff. To play my creatures, like my sludge belchers. It's fine. Get wrong. Actually, I should, maybe I should have killed this. For some reason I just didn't consider that he would hit me in the face. I think overall we're doing good though. Well, that guy's getting shot on. Boom! I also have two polymorphs and a big game hunter for like spot removal of really, 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 really scary things. Okay. Okay. I'll show them all. Okay. Yeah. I've got the beast in my sight. Oh! Boom! 
Cuff. Ba 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 ba. Taking him down. He never thought I would use those bananas on him. Get in there and fight, oh my god. Oh my god. So I think that this is very safe to do. So this is what I mean by a lot of aggro decks expect to be done by now, and I'm not done. Some, some just getting started, you know what I mean? I can taste the mana! I think Frost Nova and this is a really good play next turn. Because one of these might be a freezing trap. I like this. Ilya Invisible says your hair is looking particularly sharp today. Well, thank you. I got uh, some pumice and I, you know. Got that shit all done up nice. I'm hoping this might even be a trap for snakes! Hey, Zenkiki, the god himself. <gasps> hey, we get a little bit more heating! Look at this. Am I streaming all day Tuesday? Yeah, dude, Fallout 4 all day, starting at around noon. I'm gonna eat lunch, and then I'm just gonna stream. And that'll be that. Set intéressant. What is that last card? That's the play right there. I think that's the one. Like, what is? What could he be holding on to? You know? Cause I'm gonna shoot, shoot, and then jump, keep. So this is either Explosive Trap or it's Bear Trap, so I want to hit like this and then hit him with the bear. Could be the owl. Echo Medivh would not be bad here. I'm expecting that to be an animal bite. Double unleash the hounds. Well, we won. Okay, actually, how do we lose this? This is the right play. It's gonna be that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a risk. But I think this is the correct play. Because, I mean, if he top decks Animal Bite, we lose. Um, but... <laughs> well, I think I played that well, though. But this is this is what Hearthstone is, so <laughs> fuck. I think, that, I think that was a good play, because that is the only card he could have possibly drawn. See, I think playing this, the two sludge belchers was really good. I should have known it was hundred percent top deck. I should have known. Jaina versus Alyria! Any kittens eating my shit? Tremble before the mic is out. Alright, we're against an Anta. For it. 
So the other option was to do a flame strike. Um, actually, so if we flame striked, we were at six. He played both quick shots. Maybe actually doing flame strike was better because we'd already seen one arcane golem. Um, it would have been, yeah, flame strike would have put him at one thing. So maybe it was more correct to have flame, flame struck, yeah. Then Kiki's watching to get that pack, man. I know he's watching to get that pack. Oh, Austin's pinging me on Skype. Let's get oh, Austin up in this st streaming beaver. Hello. Does not scare me. So even though Flame Strike was the more correct choice, I think I'm happy to have chosen the second best choice. Oh, this is really good, actually. This is that was the best possible thing you could have done. Damn. Now I have this endless Death Lord. Was there anything else he could have done? Uh, I mean, if he was running Leroy, it would have been the same probability, so that's fine. This guy is so fucking aggro. Blah. You know how Chums feels? Funny. Actually, was it maybe it was better to just rerun out the death Nah, 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 nah. Argent horse. All right, well, I feel good about this. Ooh. Now, if he doesn't kill this, it's gonna be tight. Or I can just go Doomsayer, Doomsayer, Echo of Medivh. <laughs> oh my God. Sean, how do I feel about Bob Ross? I think Bob Ross is. I think he is wonderful. All right, well, it's two quick shots. Uh, hey, hey, yo! I know the play, yo. The end is coming. I can do that, and then even if he uh, somehow silences this, I can flame strike ping this nerd. Back from the junk heap. Oh, hey, Travis, what's going on, dude? Show them all. I came to do a show. Oh, so here's the thing about Major Domo. I could simply just not play it. Like, I have a million plays, like Cold Light, Doomsayer. This is a hybrid. <laughs> oh, 
Well, he came to do a show, you know. to be that guy, man. To be Panda? Wow. Go go chew on some bamboo and have no other dietary options. Am I right, Panda? Oh, that is awesome. Wow. Be valuable. I'm a little plate of food down here by the floor where the kitties can have access to it. Except the kitties are trained well. Good kitties don't fuck with cat dad's food. Hmm. Cerebral's asking if I'm planning on doing a run for Legendary this season. It's going to be a little hard to do it this season. Because, um, Fallout 4 is coming out. I gotta play that. Overwatch beta is still out. I've been playing some of that, not as much. Um, and Legacy of the Void's coming out. So I'm going to be doing the single player of that, so. Wait. Alright, so this this might be. Hi, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Hey. Oh, you smell so bad. I'll show them. Oh my god, my cat's poop just smells so bad. Like it's so awful the way that cat smells, man. I can't even begin to explain. It's like she's like a 50-year-old cop with her farts. It's insane, man. Oh, what a stinky cat. Alright, I I presume that we are against a freeze mage. Um, so I guess if we're against a freeze mage, this is a really good play, because we, we are we are going to want to keep our damage. God, I can't believe how bad that cat's going. We're going to want to keep our um, Damage, just we want to take no damage, and then he's gonna Alex Straza us, and we have to hope that we have you know Polymorph and uh, Junk Heap. Oh my god, that cat! I can't Perhaps. believe the odor of that cat, man. AK Coney says maybe you shouldn't feed them cheese and prosciutto. I don't feed them cheese, and only the tiniest bit of prosciutto. Those cats eat so well. Let me tell you, it's incredible how well those cats eat. Shooting me. We're gonna kill him in fatigue, five sure. Here's the best part. Sometimes he draws all them cards, he can't use all of them because I don't have any threats out. The end is coming! Like this doom sound. Mm. I can get double sludge belcher if I want. Let my doomsayer show him I'm not, I'm not scared of him. I knew it. Oh my god, prosciutto. Prosciutto's an incredible food. I even have some more. Some more prosciutto over here. 
Look at this. Okay, look at this. Look at this prosciutto. I got prosciutto right next to me. I'm gonna eat some of it uh, in the break. And it, it says ingredients. Pork. Salt. That's it. That's all it says. That's so unusual. It's not unusual. Job done. Don't want to burn a card. Really, really, really do not want to burn a card at all. Thanks, thanks, modest musketeer. I think I might explosive sheep and shoot it. I knew it! I knew it! Healing! So I don't actually think he's got his combo any cards. He's only got seven in hand. So one of them would need to be Alexstrasza, and then he would need Fireball, Frostbolt, Ice Lance. So I'm gonna start playing some more threats. Sucks. I mean, I'm just gonna have flames that I could. <laughs> Why did I do that play? Because I did not want to burn any cards. Would I have just not burned cards anyways? I thought I would have burned cards, right? Pink face would have been more optimal. Oh, right. This is one of the best cards against Freeze Mage. Because he can just screw up and accidentally like pull out one of his... Oh, there's a good one. Whoops. You know, it might even be correct for me to just have run out my own Doomsayer and just burn the Death Lord. What do you guys think of Overwatch, by the way? That's like an almost unwinnable situation, because he either... He's already used a fireball. Well, that's good. We might survive another turn. No! See, if... So, Polymorph was actually certainly the incorrect play. Because if I, um, well, not certainly the incorrect, but like, if he's doing that, the assumption is that he can kill me. Mm. I, would, I was like nearly certain that that was the only way I could survive. Was that wrong? Because the way that he would have killed me is, if he didn't have a Malagos, he would have been able to Pyroblast. Yeah, for some reason in my head I was just like, oh, well obviously I was dead either way. Um, but I might be able to survive if I had uh, Alex Straza. So I think I was dead either way. But it was probably more likely um, after I killed the Malagos. For some reason in my head I was just like, oh yeah, no way. Um... Meh. That's... I mean, even though I think that I probably misplayed that last turn, I think that, you know, that's sort of how Freeze Mage versus, Freeze, or versus uh, Fatigue Mage is expected. Like, I either draw the heal bot, 
slash cold light earlier I don't and I didn't so boo we'll be back <laughs>